Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of the Carousel of Progress Let's Build. Um, today we are doing the side portions of the first show scene. So we're finishing up that first show scene today, um, starting here on the left with the laundry room kind of deal going on. So we have the mother of the family, and in the concept pictures that I was looking at, she has this, or not the concept, in the reference pictures I was looking at, she has this large kind of dress on, and the in-game Planet Coaster person is just kind of wearing a button-down shirt and jeans, so I had to build a dress. So I used these drape pieces that I actually end up using a lot uh, throughout the episode for various different things, and then I just kind of make a dress type shape. My first attempt here was too square, but then I, this, yeah, this, this is the second time. I got it to work. Here we're making a little ironing board. I thought it was funny that in the actual show the ironing board is just held up by two chairs. That's why I have the two chairs there holding it up. And then we're just putting some various clothing looking pieces here. Just kind of something to give you the idea that there's something some laundry being done over in this part of the house. Now I attempt to build an iron, which took me a little bit longer than I like to admit. Had to try a few different things, different pieces, try to get a handle in there. Um, eventually put in an oval art shape as well. And that kind of made it look convincing enough from a distant viewpoint. Not the best looking if you're up close, but that is not what matters. You can see me again just looking through all the pieces. And then here we go, finally find that arch, arch shape and then finish that piece up. Add a few little uh, baskets and different clutter around here. Here I put in the door frame using the wooden trim we've used throughout and then put some black colored panels to give the illusion of more house behind the door. And I know I missed a spot right there, I do cover that up later. And then here's the daughter who's helping with the laundry. Um, and in the real show, she has this little lever that she pulls, and then it spins this little wheel on some kind of laundry washing machine type thing. I did my best, um, it has a main barrel part and then the lever and then the wheel. So I used a candy cane for the lever and then the barrel, I used a barrel, I know this is complex stuff here and then I think I'm going to make an edit. I change out the wheel for the wheel that has kind of the little leather belt going around it and I think I raise the lever a little bit, let's see, yeah I switch out the wheel for this other. I just think it looks more interesting to have a little belt on the outside of it. And I like the moving wheel a lot, I think that's a nice touch to have in the ride because it adds some movement to an otherwise pretty still show, so I kind of like having that thing rotating around. Here we fix the little gap in the door and we add a little nice frame to the top just using some wooden brackets. Added in these lights, I really like these lights actually because even when you're not supposed to see the show scene, I kind of like how this light kind of glows through the, the cloth. It kind of tells you that, oh yeah, there is something there that I'm going to see later, rather than just having it dull and all the same color. Now we start on the second show scene. Here we are moving over the door and the trim. I wanted to keep those things the same so the house looked like it had some continuity to it. Uh, we use a different wallpaper for this side, kind of a blue. Uh, we turn on the lights to make sure we can see what we're doing. And this is the room where the grandma is listening to the gramophone, whatever thing is called. The big kind of old-timey record player that reads the little wax cylinders and has a big golden horn on it. 
I think it's called a ground fawn, I'm not sure. Um, here we are giving her uh, a rocking chair. I do sink it in because I wanted it to be a rocking chair, but then I realized that the animatronic's feet wouldn't be on the ground if it was a rocking chair. So I had to sink it in, give uh, Grandma a nice autumn in there, and a cushy chair. And now we start on the shelf um, upon which the gramophone is going to sit. And now here we're doing the shelf, putting a nice wooden top on it. I'm just using the one of those studios crates for that. And then we use the drapes for a second time this episode to kind of make a table cover uh, there that the gramophone will sit on. Now we're just adding some details to the shelf. And then we're going to put in some drawers just using those spooky planks. And then the handle is one of those billboard holding pieces here. Had to move over Grandma a bit because she was kind of sticking into the table. So we scoot her off a little bit to the side. Here we're using the drapes for a third time uh, to make a rug because the little ends of the rocking chair were sticking up through the wood and I didn't like that so I needed something to cover it up. Uh, Wix was in Discord with me and he helped come up with the idea of using the ropes to line the carpet to kind of make it look a little bit more different. And I really like the end product of this rug. I think it came out really nice. So thank you to Wix for that little tip. Now we just adjust a few um, things throughout the room. I wanted to fix the wallpaper over here. I tried to put a shelf, but it didn't really look good. So we ended up putting a small table and a plant there later, which we don't do quite yet. Fix up the trim. I found this shelf. I couldn't really find where I wanted to put it though. Some other furniture stuff. And now here we go on my favorite part of the episode, which is the gramophone. So I use another one of those wooden crates. This one wasn't from the studio's pack. And then I use fireworks colored yellow for the little wax cylinders sitting out on the table. And then this firework is the one that's actually supposed to be in the machine that it's going to turn and it's going to read the little bumps on it and play the desired audio track and now here we're making the horn using this large trumpet piece I'm really glad that this was actually big enough very rare that I am glad that something in Planet Coaster is big but if this trumpet was any smaller I would have had a nightmare trying to build that out of many pieces these little billboard ends just hold in the wax cylinder and then you'll notice it's sticking into the wall so I had to build this little back part just using some more planks to kind of finish it up and make it look good from all angles. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it looks really good, especially through the curtains when you just kind of get that glowing circle at the end of the horn. And then we put in a little pot and a plant. I never realized how large the plants are in this game until I tried to fit plants into this build. Because, man, the only thing that fits that i found is these little tulips. So, put those in. And we add a little picture frame here. I wanted something on the wall because it looks a little bare. And then we keep the blue theme going with a nice blue flowery painting again. I wanted to put a sign here that said Home Sweet Home because that was in the actual ride. Sadly, you could see the font through the curtains, which I didn't really like kind of hard to describe. You, you could see the font too clearly, so I took that out, put in a nice flower painting, and that is about all we did. I'm fixing up some lighting here, and then we'll get into the final cinematic showcase. And here we are at the end of the video. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching and following this series as I build it. This little intro part is a bit of a surprise. I spent some time and built a uh, color sequencer changey thing for this first scene. So it goes from greens to blues to purples to reds, like the real ride does. And here we are in the finished 1900s show scene. I have yet to do the triggers because I'm going to do that once we have the audio. But I am extremely happy with how this all came out. Um, I think it looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. 
And yeah, stay tuned for episode 4, where we will hopefully, I think we will be starting on the next scene, which is the 1920s. So thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing. And I will see you guys in episode 4.